Okay, so I released this video earlier this week about the official USB boot on Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, this method only works for Raspberry Pi 4. If you have a Raspberry Pi 3, it's a different method and has been supported for a long time. Look for tutorials on YouTube. Basically, you no longer need an SD card in your Pi. Your OS can boot from USB. You can create an image with Raspberry Pi Imager or Belena Etcher. You can also use the SD card copier in Raspbian to clone your existing SD card to a USB device. Your USB device can be a USB memory stick, although so far all of them have been slow for me. Alternatively, a hard drive caddy with a normal hard disk or an SSD drive which delivers the best performance. Raspbian is the first operating system I've tried. It works really well running from an SSD drive. The performance is definitely faster than from an SD card. Plus, an SSD is usually more reliable. I've had comments about not having enough power for a hard disk powered by USB. My official Raspberry Pi power adapter powers my Logitech keyboard with trackpad, a wired Xbox 360 and the physical hard disk in a caddy with no issues. I also have a cheap Amazon fan case and kit and I'm overclocked to 2147 MHz. So what else works with the new USB boot? So far I've had success with RetroPi, Raspbian, Raspbian X, iRaspbian, Libra Elect Cody, Monkey Pi 1.5 and the amazing 200 gig RetroPie build by Damaso, which I put on a 750 gig hard disk, which cost me £12. Video coming soon. That's a lot cheaper than buying a large capacity SD card. 20 gig Xbox 360 cards can be bought for as little as 50p. See this video. Please leave a comment on what you had success with so that I can add it to the description of this video. I haven't had any success with any of the multi-boot operating systems such as PinOS and BerryBoot. And writing these images to a USB device also failed. Ubuntu 20.04, Lineage OS, Monkajaro, Noobs and Manjaro XFCE. The method I'm using is to copy the 14 GitHub update files into the boot folder on your USB device as seen in this tutorial. If you manage to get something working that's not on my working list, please explain your method in the comments and I'll add it to the current list in the description. Alright, thanks very much for watching, hope this helps. Please like and subscribe.